Hey everybody, it's good to be with you again. We're in Matthew 18 today, and I brought a football. I know this isn't the typical football, but it's my Nerf football. I can throw it around in the house. <laughs> the title lets me to do that. And I brought it because we're just about in Super Bowl season. Now, it's amazing that we even had a Super Bowl this particular year, but we are intending to have one. And, and every time I think of Super Bowls that I've watched in the past, one of them that I remember well is back in 2014, I think that's the year, when Peyton Manning and his prolific offense, what an incredible year he had, went up against the other team, Seattle Seahawks, and their amazing defense. And both teams had two weeks to prepare. Both teams had amazing uh, teams that year. But Seattle just, just crushed Peyton Manning and his team. I think back to that because of the verse that we study today in Matthew 18. Jesus says something that is one, maybe one of the best promises he ever gives us, maybe one that we ignore or don't realize how powerful it is, but he gives us a play that executes every single time we perform the play together. Here's what he says, Matthew 18, 20, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. Where two or three come in my name, where they perform according to my plan, where they do what I call as the play, my power, my ability is with them. That's just amazing. In fact, so often we try to call our own play instead of listen to what his play would be in this moment. And we wonder why the power is not there. We wonder why we fail. We wonder why we struggle. We wonder why we get beat. Well, I would suggest to you three things out of this verse as it goes along with football. Just using football as the analogy, think about this verse in this way. First of all, where two or three are gathered in my name, Jesus is our coach. You don't get that job. I don't get that job. When we pray, we don't give him the call to tell him how to act. We pray, we seek his face, we do his will, we obey his word because he's the play caller. Right now, we live in a world that wants to tell God how to call the plays. They'd rather make laws against the Word of God than act on the Word of God. And you and I are just as guilty of that. I encourage you to remember when His power shows up where He calls the plays for you. So that area of your life where maybe you're being disobedient or you're not acting on what He's telling you to do, realize you're missing out on the power. Second thing you see is where two or three are gathered, there's a team to it. So many times in America, and especially for me, maybe it is for you, we like to be independent. We want to do it our own way. We're not interested in what other people uh, being along. We want, to, we want to run our own game. And in fact, if you think back to that Super Bowl, what made that Super Bowl so powerful for the Seattle Seahawks was that they, their defense played incredibly well as a team. They were covering for each other. They understood the call and played well as a team. That showed up in the score. Well, when you and I gather, when we pray for each other, when we support each other, when we demonstrate that the church is a team sport, <laughs> Jesus' power shows up. And then the final thing I want to tell you is that you are the one with the ball. Yes, Peyton Manning was the quarterback that day, and he threw, and he, and he handed it off. And, but there was always the whole team decided whether that play was going to be executed well or not. When you think you have the ball alone, you're going to get tackled. But when you play as a team for the sake of the ball, <laughs> then you can move the ball forward. I share that with you because that's a secret to your life and mine. If you want more power in your life, rally with God's team, execute his plays, do your part, and you'll see God's power show up. Because Jesus promised, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will show up there as well. Maybe you won't win a Super Bowl championship that way, but you'll win the championship of life. And more importantly, you'll get the reward of eternal life. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow.